So SAS Studio predicts a lot of the more common linear regression diagnostics that some folks may use. One of the other diagnostics that we've used is relating to multiclinearity and there are some ways of looking at multiclinearity if you need to do that um, or if you have a reviewer or somebody you already kind of have a good idea of what we might be looking for so um, I told you all um, on your previous linear regression you want to kind of keep that up there you can rerun it or do whatever but when you've got it here all of this stuff here in blue all this stuff we're going to copy it because there's something we're going to be able to do to it to make it work for us. So uh, we can't edit this code here, but what we can do is we can go and I clicked on server files folders, SAS program, and we can manually code this the way we want to. So I'm going to hit paste because it's already done all the work for us. And right here on this ODS select, it's pretty much saying these are the only things that we're really focused on. So I'm going to get rid of those. All right, so I deleted them. You can delete this line if you want to. All right, and now where it says model life expect 1990 equals whatever, behind this slash, I'm going to just type in VIF. Um, if I'm interested in tolerance, I think it's just TOL. And then there's also colon. Um, so all of those are different uh, multiclinearity uh, type related statistics uh, that are able to be done uh, after the linear regression analysis has been ran. So pretty easy. All I did was just copy and paste the information in here. And then I've got VIF, TOL, and COLEN pasted in there or typed in there. So I run it. And once I get done running it, I'm going to look at results here. So it may automatically go to the results. So it automatically selected on the results. They're populating up. So here we've got pretty much a lot of the same information we saw from before. So that's nice. Oh, everything's, everything's still there from before. Uh, and then I also have that violent crime rate data that I put in there as well, you know, as a last variable. We've got our adjusted R square and all that. But here's where some new stuff appears that you may not have seen in the previous output for this linear regression. So in our program, we now have the VIF values, the VIFs, and we can look at them and we can say, you know, hey, well, since they're all less than three or something like that, or whatever your rule is that you want to use for VIF. Some people also have kind of rules of thumb for tolerance. Um, so there are all these other collinearity diagnostics. I'm not going to go into all of them um, because, again, this is an introductory course. Uh, there are more advanced courses that are out there if you were to pursue a doctoral program or a master's degree in uh, something beyond public health. Um, there are additional courses on specifically uh, multivariable linear regression, and there are also as you could imagine, courses on applied logistic regression. So easy enough how to get VIFs, collinearity, tolerance statistics. There may be other things. So if you know what the options are that you want to turn on, copying and pasting this stuff, getting rid of the ODS select, and writing your own program is quite simple to do. So this is a very easy, easy way to get those stats. So that's all for this particular video. And we'll move into um, the uh, categorical analysis, chi-square analysis, Fisher exact test maybe, and uh, logistic regression for the next videos.